This is the Democratic Republic of Congo. It is a country laden with natural resources estimated to be in excess of 20 trillion US dollars. Yet, despite its mineral wealth, its people have been suffering poverty, war, famine, disease and corruption for decades. It is crying out for investors with the money and expertise to access its mineral wealth and help it realize its economic potential. Instead, it has gotten something quite different. If the world wishes to help the Congolese people, it should ensure the IMF stands behind the covenant of its loan agreement, namely the publishing of all partnership agreements and mining contracts, the offer of all assets sold through a public tender, and the establishment of an independent anti-corruption body. Joseph Kabila and his government remain in breach of all these covenants. Over the past four years, this government has secretly transferred billions of dollars of state mineral assets to offshore shell companies. It begs the question, are hundreds of millions of pounds in British taxpayer money through the IMF supporting any responsible regime? At least 200 million pounds is given by the UK each year to support projects in the DRC. Yet many billions are flowing out of the DRC to feed dozens of shell companies housed in the UK overseas territories. The UK is at the center of this and can act to stop it. It is time to uncover who is behind this shell company and who is therefore benefiting from these deals. Help the Congolese people help themselves. Not more aid, just stop the raid.